Hello, precious souls. Welcome to a twin flame journey. I'm Aura, and this is a podcast on twin flames. For more videos, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. My mother's cancer had not spread yet. Although we had been told by the doctors that the treatments were working and her cancer was shrinking, Six months prior, I remember being on the phone with her, telling her to not do chemotherapy, radiation, as I knew deeply that she would not survive. On the phone with her at a doctor's office, I visioned the gates opening up and the sun shining and clouds of fog on the ground. I couldn't help but tell her, please don't do this. You are not going to make it. Meanwhile, at the same time, her spiritual twin flame, beginning to get sick, loss of appetite, and losing weight, all in preparation for the inevitable, their transition together. Meanwhile, at her appointment, a blood relation in the background saying, you need to do these treatments completely aware of what Aura was saying on the phone, aware of the results, and aware of what was going to happen. A couple months had passed as Aura sat quietly during one of her treatments. She was sleeping quietly, soundly, and suddenly awakened. Aura, who is, as she whispered his name, my twin flame's name, he is you, as she continued. He is coming. She began to talk about how she wanted to meet him, but many years prior, she had already met him. Unfortunately, perceived him in an unacceptable way. But her perception during those last few months of physical existence, there truly was this divine presence the godly figure that is always existent on this journey. Even when we believe that there isn't, I can assure you there is. My eyes filled with tears as I recalled previous conversations with him in the past where he acknowledged an undeniable connection between us. But also, when I was going through a spiritual time in my life, I had gotten a couple psychic readings from gifted individuals confirming everything years before. I had never mentioned any of them to her, not telling her what I had already known, but her presence and the energetic godly vibration in her words. I knew I would never need the external validation of any of it, who or what I was, or even who my twin flame is. Although there is always the need to validate, to confirm everything we are feeling, we are enduring. It is only human nature to do so. But you will never need anyone to validate this spiritual connection you share. However, it does happen. The validation will only occur through godlike situations, divinely guided experiences, and through angelic presence. Don't be fooled by the lower frequencies attached to the third dimensional, physical realities of this earthly plane. Your soulful experiences are a result of who you are meant to become, as the shedding of your old self no longer lives within you, but transforms into your twin flame. Separation no longer is your perception and the amount of time you were apart from them is transcended, no longer existing. Your unconditional love grows freely. The two of you are one in unison, one heart and one soul. So, this concludes this episode. Until next time, I'm Aura, and this is A Twin Flame Journey.